So I want to take a minute here to talk about bush honeysuckle. Um, habitat management is one of my favorite things to do in the off season. Bush honeysuckle is a pretty invasive species, especially on this particular farm, that can just take over the landscape. If let to grow um, without any maintenance, it is it can actually cut out the entire uh, sunlight to the ground floor and leave yourself nothing but bare dirt or leaf litter all over the ground floor and that's not really a good habitat for deer and I like to enhance uh, deer bedding <clears throat> so I want I want areas that are real thick on the uh, ground floor in the woods where they can go and hide and feel very comfortable uh, for their to make that their bedding area what I do when managing it is I will simply use a chainsaw to cut it off at the ground floor or anywhere in between two and four feet. And what that does is the time that I cut it is um, uh, late winter before it, it buds back out. And the reason why I like to do it that way is because if you have a really big bush that all the leaf canopy is up higher than the deer can access and you bring it down lower it's going to all shoot out right in that two to four foot range and make it at the right level for the deer to eat because bush honeysuckle is one of the first things to green up in the spring and i like to have some type of plant out there that can you know when my food plots may be getting bare or if I haven't put enough food out you know they've got something in the woods that they can eat on beginning of spring and uh, they love those fresh green shoots that sprout out from a cut off bush honeysuckle uh, plant and um, I don't like to spray it and kill it because especially if there's moderate deer in the area they will actually keep it trimmed back enough um, I've been cutting bush honeysuckle out here on this farm for several years and I've never had any of it grow back beyond that four or five foot mark to where it's, you know, going to canopy again in a few years. So the deer will keep it browsed down enough. I know that a lot of people don't necessarily have the time or the resources to take a chainsaw out in the woods, spend several days in a row and cutting and hacking at everything in there to tr try to create the habitat uh, that the deer prefer. So what I like to do with minimal effort and time involved is when I'm out shed hunting, when I'm out in the timber, looking for those sheds and I'm getting into bedding areas and whatnot, I like to take loppers with me. These little things right here are a great tool for very little bit of money um, uh, invested. This particular pair is a pretty heavy duty pair and it is, um, I think it was like $50 from Home Depot. It's probably one of the most aggressive loppers you can get because it has a cranking mechanism that allows you to get more leverage and to get around a bigger branch. So what I like to do is I like to stay to the deer trails when I'm moving through the woods looking for sheds and all I do is open up those trails. You know, when I get in there in bush honeysuckle areas, it's really thick, I have to bend down the whole time. And the deer don't probably have to do that as much, but I have to bend down, sometimes crawl through there just to get through them trails. And so what I like to do is I like to take these loppers in there and just cut myself a clear pathway. And I like to move slow when I shed hunt um, because it, it, it helps me find more sheds and I get to observe the habitat and things that are going on in there. And if I'm going to spend time out in there bedding uh, one or two days a year, I want to observe as much as I can. But that's just a couple tips for me for uh, about bush honeysuckle is that I'm actually a fan of it because the deer will eat it. may not be their preferred food source, but they will eat it. Um, and it's one of the first plants to green up in the spring. Wanted to show you this area before I finished. Um, been working on it for a couple years. Uh, I think this will be the third year that I've worked on it. Um, just you know, basically chipping away at it. Um, before it was just nothing on the ground floor. It's just absolutely no cover, no food. And so all I've done is basically 
bringing the food down to their level may not be a great food source but it's still a food source I'm just bringing it down to their level and also opening up the canopy um, to allow more uh, forage and cover to grow on the ground floor and this isn't really good here yet um, but it's only been growing for two years and in time it will get thicker and be able to create more cover especially through the winter time 